What's up guys, it's Frankie here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on why Fortnite will never be the same. Um, I know this makes me sound very much like a Fortnite kid, and I used to be. If you check my old channel, Frankie Games, it's still weird to say that. But yep, I used to be a massive Fortnite kid. I was an addict, but yeah, I'm not a Fortnite kid anymore. Um, I'm a Minecraft one, that's a joke as well. But yep. Today's video is on why Fortnite will never be the same again and why it's overall just became a bad game. Um, let's roll the intro. With the intro out of the way, let's get into the video and my first point. My first point is the, the fact that it's no longer a passion project, it is now a greed project. They're not doing it because they truly love the game and care about the fans. They're doing it because they want money. Why do you think they sued Apple to get a bigger cut? That's literally what they wanted. More money from App Store purchases. Um, you can see this started happening like late Season 5 and after Season 6. Because yeah, they started stretching out seasons. The content in it. They're only caring about what public figures are saying because if the pros aren't giving them publicity, they're not getting paid. So, yeah, they always go, oh, pros don't want this in the game. We'll take it out, even though 50% of the players loved it, like ballers. Barely anyone complained about it apart from pros who would get killed by them when they built all the way up to the Himalayas. And it was just, yeah... People got angry. People were annoyed that they got removed, but still. And you can especially see where they've started milking the game is how stretched out seasons were. You can't tell. I'll tell you something that you probably won't believe. Season 10 was a year ago. Actually, no, not a year ago. It was about a year and two months ago. Yes, and we're on season 4. A year, four seasons. That isn't very good, saying that they used to be really... Everyone loved Fortnite at one point, and if you didn't, you was like out of the mix. But now, nobody likes it, because it's full of just... Um, there's no character to the game. Yeah, it might still have the same art style, but they aren't trying anything new. They're just sticking to the same formula. And that's what really makes it boring because for a game like Fortnite to keep it alive, you need new stuff, new full cutscenes like the Desert Eagle ad. Everyone loved that because it was just creative. Now it's flipping Marvel trailers. It was fun when Fortnite was like a non money hungry game because you felt part of a community. Now it's like the tryhards, the pros, and then yeah the company and it just isn't that fun in that way so and the second reason why is probably the amount of just um tryhards in the game people like people that build up to the himalayas in five seconds it's very annoying when you're just trying to play with your friends you look you walk outside a house and someone's built all the way up and they're lasering you for example i can't show the clip because i didn't i didn't record at the time but we were sitting in the side of a house for about five minutes getting loot. Not five minutes, about three minutes, but still. We was there, three minutes getting loot, and there was someone sitting out for a sniper the whole time. They sniped us when we got into the house, and then they waited. <laughs> they kept sniping at the house for three minutes until we left. Then they all bombarded us, and yes, we all just quit because... If you have the patience to wait three minutes for a bunch of not very good players to leave a house, just what is your problem? It's a game. It isn't a flipping terminant. Go in arena if you want to do that. Um, speaking about arena is all the pros make you just lose all your points in instantly. Um, if you want to play arena now, you just get sweated on completely, even if you're sweating enough person will even more and ruin your game take away all your points 
and then you just want to throw the controller at the ground and it is in a game like Fall Guys where if you lose you're like oh well no big deal I'll just start another one or like a Minecraft battle mini game or you see glide in the background so um yeah that's really annoying when someone just ruins your game and then you just want to quit because it's not fun in a game when there's that so many sweats and you might be wondering oh why do you still play Fortnite if you hate it so much then uh, um that's because I don't I only play it like <laughs> I'm not even joking to you I came up with a strategy if you want to get back into a game because you're getting burnt out on it play a game like Fortnite that you absolutely hate because of how annoying it is and then play it Wait till you're fuming, then play the game that you like. My instance, this was Minecraft, but I was getting a bit burnt out because I played it too much. So I played Fortnite, and then, yes, I loved the game after. Um, so yeah, that's a trick, I guess. Um, and Fortnite's lack of communication. You used to see patch notes all the time. They used to be LTMs. They used to be fun stuff. Now it's just all, it feels massively corporate instead of um individual like the game used to feel like it was a proper passion project and it was fun season one to five season two i remember everyone would get so excited and then they started bringing back old skins just because that would get their name in the press um yeah no one wants your name no one wants a game to be used just for money and that's what lots of game creators are doing now <coughs> EA <coughs> Rockstar Games and one of my final reasons is probably the Fortnite kids you see the people who still played Fortnite have obviously spent tons and tons of money on it and won't let go and they're very toxic they think um, they used a phrase a true gamer respects all games even though if they don't like one they will still respect it and they only say that because they get bullied even though they're the people that call minecraft minecrap i'm not even joking you that's the only thing they could come up with and yeah they said that before they started getting hate and when of course they do get hate they make their apology so um yeah especially on sites like tiktok People don't find your Fortnite dancing videos or you simping over a Fortnite character. I'm not even joking you. Some kids are simping over Fortnite characters. Um, our generation is doomed with people like that around. Uh, I do not trust them. Don't let them anywhere near me. But yes, people simp over Fortnite characters. And that it's not content you going... Um, if you think girls aren't powerful in video games, look at these with a bunch of emojis. And you can tell it's a Fortnite player because they used a clown emoji. And watching a video of you Fortnite dancing saying, me and the boys getting ready to jump into a squads game, it isn't funny. Comedy is doing something. Like, even if... You but yeah, it's just not fun to watch. You could say the same thing about my content. Very, very true. But at least I don't put my phone up to my screen and say, me and the boys heading into squads to get the dub. Because, yeah, it just gets annoying with people like that. And especially when they think that they're somehow entertaining by just going, I love Fortnite. Fortnite's the best game. Yeah, if you call it gay night, you're the real gay one. It just isn't funny at that point. And yeah, that's why Fortnite will never be the same. And if you still enjoy it, that's fine. Just don't post about your wins on social media. Um, yeah, because no one cares anymore. That was cool in like season four. Now it just winds people up. And um, I hope you have enjoyed this video my second video on the channel first one was a brown review um hope you have enjoyed but if you still play fortnite okay i don't really care to be honest but it won't be the same as it was in season four three two one yeah you get my point hope you have enjoyed but bye